Bob saw Weiss, and I head up the Vox team at Anna Paul Schwartz. On September 30, 2004, Merck voluntarily withdrew its arthritis drug, Vox, from the worldwide market as a result of too many heart attacks occurring in patients enrolled in a three-year study being conducted to prove that Vox reduced the reoccurrence of colon polyps. David Graham, an FDA investigator, testified on November 18th before a Senate subcommittee that Merck knew that Vox increased the risk for heart attacks and strokes back in early 2000 and that the failure of the FDA to act appropriately shall make Vox the largest and worst prescription drug disaster in the United States. Anapol Schwartz has closely investigated the link between Vox and heart attacks and strokes. For nearly four years since the results of the Viger study were published in November 2000 in the New England Journal of Medicine. The data showed that Vox had a fourfold increased risk of cardiovascular events in those patients who took Vioxx in the study as compared to those people who took naproxen. Since that time, our firm has reviewed over 1,000 potential cases on behalf of individuals who alleged injury from the use of Vioxx. We had filed 86 lawsuits against Merck in New Jersey State Court prior to September 30th. Members of our firm are taking an active role in the New Jersey litigation, and David Jacoby, our managing partner in New Jersey, was named by the court as co-liaison counsel in the consolidated Vioxx litigation in Atlantic County. Our first trial was slated for May 2005. Merck insisted that the court enter a protective order before it would release documents in discovery. That order prevents our revealing confidential information to anyone not authorized to view the documents under the order. Along with Chris Placitella and the Wilentz Law Firm, we have created an online repository of deposition transcripts and important documents. Our site, VoxPlaintiffsCouncil.com, will be a restricted site for those lawyers who work with us on the litigation and who, by filing a lawsuit in New Jersey or joining us as co-counsel in one of our complaints, will be authorized to see the documents. Each lawyer will receive a unique password after signing the protective order and receive clearance from us. Chris and I hope this site will be a valuable tool. Please log on and see the various topics that will be available to you. For your reference, we have posted non-confidential documents that impact this litigation on a referral counsel website. This website will be updated periodically with new information. We will also be adding additional practice areas exclusively for the benefit of a referral counsel. When you log on, you will receive a password that will give you access to the many projects Annapol Schwartz lawyers work on to protect the rights of innocent victims. See you soon, and thank you.